future of military warfare is evolving rapidly, and the United States Army is leading the charge with one of the most revolutionary combat vehicles of the 21st century. This is the XM-30, also known as the Optionally Manned Fighting Vehicle, or OMFV, a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle designed to replace the iconic but aging Bradley Fighting Vehicle. Today we're diving deep into every detail of this groundbreaking machine, exploring its design, technology, performance, and the role it will play in future battlefields. Welcome to the Autobike, where we explore the most advanced machines on the planet, and today's journey takes us straight into the heart of American military innovation. The Bradley Fighting Vehicle has served the U.S. Army faithfully since the 1980s, but modern threats, new warfare environments, and the rise of advanced anti-armor weapons demanded something far beyond an upgrade. The Army wanted a vehicle that could dominate the battlefield of tomorrow, faster, smarter, better protected, and more versatile. That vision gave birth to the XM-30 program. But what makes this machine so unique is not just its firepower or armor, it's the fact that it is optionally manned. That means it can be operated with a human crew inside, or remotely controlled as an unmanned system. This flexibility gives the Army the ability to send it into the most dangerous missions without risking soldiers' lives. The design of the XM-30 is futuristic and imposing. Built with a strong, angular profile, it combines a low silhouette design for survivability with high-tech armor that can withstand modern threats like anti-tank guided missiles, explosive drones, and improvised explosive devices. The hull is modular, allowing for upgrades over time, which ensures this vehicle won't become obsolete as technology progresses. Unlike older armored vehicles, the XM-30 doesn't just rely on thick steel. Instead, it uses advanced composite armor, reactive protection, and an active protection system capable of intercepting incoming projectiles before they even hit the vehicle. One of the standout features of the XM-30 is its turret. Equipped with a powerful 50mm XM-913 chain gun, this vehicle offers a massive increase in firepower compared to the Bradley's 25mm gun. The larger caliber means greater range, more destructive firepower, and the ability to engage both infantry and heavily armored targets. Alongside the main gun, the XM-30 is also capable of launching advanced missiles, giving it the capability to destroy enemy tanks and fortified positions. With integrated drones and advanced targeting systems, the XM-30 doesn't just fight, it hunts, tracks, and dominates. Inside the vehicle, the focus is on crew survivability and technological integration. The XM-30 is designed to carry a crew of 2 plus 6 infantry soldiers. But the real magic happens in its digital backbone. This vehicle is more like a rolling computer than a traditional armored carrier. Equipped with advanced sensors, artificial intelligence systems, 360-degree cameras, and augmented reality displays, the crew can see the battlefield in ways no soldier could before. The vehicle's network connectivity allows it to share real-time data with other units, aircraft, and command centers, turning every XM-30 into a node in a larger battlefield web. Mobility is another critical factor. The XM-30 is powered by a hybrid electric propulsion system, giving it the ability to operate more quietly while also reducing its heat signature, which makes it harder to detect by enemy forces. This also improves fuel efficiency and provides bursts of high torque, allowing the vehicle to move quickly across rugged terrain. With advanced suspension, it can handle deserts, forests, cities, and mountains, making it adaptable to virtually any battlefield scenario. But perhaps the most groundbreaking aspect is its ability to operate without soldiers inside. The optionally manned design means the Army can use it in full autonomy for dangerous reconnaissance missions, spearhead assaults without risking crew, or even pair it with other unmanned systems for coordinated attacks. This represents a major shift in military doctrine, where machines will increasingly take on the most dangerous roles, reducing human casualties. The XM-30 program has been developed under the Army's Next Generation Combat Vehicle Initiative, with multiple defense companies competing to provide the best design. Two industry giants, General Dynamics Land Systems and American Rear Metal Vehicles, have been key players in bringing prototypes to life. Each prototype showcases advanced modularity, meaning weapons, armor, sensors, and systems can be upgraded or swapped out as threats evolve. This ensures the XM-30 will stay relevant not just for years, but for decades. When it comes to survivability, the XM-30 goes beyond traditional armor. The inclusion of an active protection system, similar to the Israeli trophy system, allows it to detect and destroy incoming rockets or missiles mid-flight. Think of it like a personal shield that shoots down threats before they even touch the vehicle. Combined with its stealthier profile and reduced thermal signature from the hybrid system, it becomes much harder for enemies to detect, target, or destroy. The vehicle also integrates drone technology directly into its systems. Operators can deploy drones for surveillance, reconnaissance, or even as offensive tools. 
Imagine rolling onto a battlefield and launching small drones to scout an entire urban area before troops even dismount. This multiplies the effectiveness of every infantry squad carried by the XM-30. The soldiers inside are better informed, better protected, and better prepared for combat. Compared to the Bradley, the difference is night and day. The Bradley was revolutionary in the 1980s, but the XM-30 is revolutionary for the 2030s and beyond. With double the firepower, vastly improved survivability, AI integration, hybrid electric propulsion, and unmanned capability, it's not just an upgrade, it's a total reinvention of what an infantry fighting vehicle can be. Now let's talk about its role in the Army's future. The XM-30 isn't just a fighting vehicle, it's part of a larger strategy. The Army envisions a battlefield where manned and unmanned systems work side by side. Tanks, drones, artillery, and vehicles like the XM-30 will operate as a network team, each sharing data in real time, creating an unstoppable force. This is known as multi-domain operations, where land, air, sea, cyber, and space all connect seamlessly. The XM-30 is one of the critical building blocks of this future. Critics, however, point to the challenges. Developing such advanced technology is expensive and time-consuming. The Army has already cancelled previous attempts to replace the Bradley, such as the Future Combat Systems and the Ground Combat Vehicle Programs, which failed due to high costs and technical hurdles. But with the XM-30, lessons have been learned, and the focus is on modularity, adaptability, and incremental upgrades. This approach ensures that the XM-30 can evolve over time, avoiding the pitfalls of past programs. For the soldiers who will ride in it, the XM-30 promises not just better protection but also greater lethality. The ability to arrive at a battlefield faster, engage enemies at longer ranges, and deploy with better intelligence means troops have a higher chance of survival and mission success. In many ways, the XM-30 is not just a vehicle, it's a force multiplier, enhancing the effectiveness of every squad it carries. As the prototypes continue to be tested and refined, the Army expects the XM-30 to enter service later this decade, with full deployment in the 2030s. When it does, it will mark the beginning of a new era of mechanized warfare, where man and machine blend together in ways we've never seen before. Standing at the edge of this future, the XM-30 symbolizes more than just a replacement for the Bradley. It represents the transformation of warfare itself. A future where soldiers and machines are interconnected, where battlefield dominance comes not just from armor and firepower, but from information, intelligence, and adaptability. This is the XM-30, America's next-generation infantry fighting vehicle, a machine built for the wars of tomorrow, designed to keep soldiers alive, and engineered to ensure battlefield superiority for decades to come. If you enjoyed learning about the future of armored warfare and want to see more deep dives into the world's most advanced vehicles, make sure to subscribe to the Autobike, hit the like button, and join us as we continue exploring the machines that are shaping our world and our future.